Hello and welcome. My name is Sebastian and today I want to speak a little bit about create tables as so what you can do you can first make your SQL and then you are creating out a table of it. This video is already a little bit on top of my other video which I did about create tables and we will see how we can use this command in action. So at first we have here our select statement so we select everything from our sales table we run it and here we have all of our 40 data points sales ID, transaction, brand ID, product and amount. And in practice it could be that we want to now join this with something. So we will select everything from sales name it sales table A, no, come on, and then join, or left join, doesn't matter, and now we do the, let's see, we will do the products, yeah, products, products table, B, no, again, on, a dot product ID is equal to B dot product ID. So when we run this command, so we would have now here a big table, sale ID transaction. We will do some alterings to this. So we just want the transaction date. <clears throat> Best is from A dot transaction date. So as it comes from table A from our sales table, then the A dot amount, and from our products table we want the product name and the category. So let's run this shortly. There it comes, amount, product names, category. So we already joined now both tables. In case you have now a lot of data, because we had just have your 40 data points. In case you have a lot of data, you already saw it, it takes a while. And when you manipulate more, so when you are having longer PostgreSQL code, it can take longer and longer and longer. So this is why you can use your sequels, create some views out of it or some tables out of it, and then create this as a new table and then query this. This could be more efficient. It makes also sense when you have a lot of these joints, a lot of different tables, that you for each table you are creating something, uh, create a new table of it, then create another table and then join this again. And then in the end, your last query is actually super simple. As you just from this table, you select this column and from here this. So it makes some stuff relatively easy instead of running every time these joins in this long commands. So what we can do is we will say now, create table and this is we name this now easily join our tables and then we do here the s command okay when we now do this takes a moment takes longer than I thought actually What's going on internet ah now it is great it took a while <laughs> so we created the table join our tables in the select and then we can 
select just uh, what we do the category from drawing our tables limit five could be it will take a moment now as you saw this creation or the select took a while but no there we have it so we first created the table and this table came out of a SQL which we already did and then we just query from it and this could be a more simpler way instead of having long 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 postgres sequels joining and joining again and joining again and joining again and in the end you don't have any overview better is it to create some tables and then the last sequel is actually that from all your created tables which you've done before customized for your goal which you want to achieve and then query from it nice so i hope you learned something and please like and subscribe and i hope you will stay with me for some new videos bye